we've got a really nice patch of sweet woodruff here, uh, Gallium odoratum, and I'd like to um, send in a record for that. So I'm going to go onto my phone and I'm going to open up the iRecord app. There we go, that's opened up. Um, so this is the screen you get and to send a record in you need to press on the plus button and you then add in your species name. So we'll put in Gallium and there it is. It's now come up, Gallium odoratum. So we press on the pencil next to it. Um, so we've got Gallium odoratum. We need to change um, a bit of the information here. So it's automatically found our location. Um, give put in the grid reference. So we need to put in a location name. So we'll put in uh, molecular <laughs> and then we'll go back. So that's now in um, and it's got today's date, which is fine. Um, I could put in a comment. I could say that it's uh, flowering. So that's uh, helpful if um, we're trying to work out, is it the right time of year for a plant? Um, there's other things we can put in. We don't have to put these in. It's less relevant for, for a flower um, than it is for animals. Um, if you've had somebody help you identify it, you can put their name in here on the bottom. Um, the other useful thing is down here at the bottom left, there's a camera. We put, add a photo to the record. So uh, I'm going to press on that and I'm going to choose camera. And then we're going to take a picture. So let's see, uh, just see, try and get a nice picture that sh shows the plant there. And we'll take that. And then we click um, OK down there. So that's now added that photo to the bottom of your record there. And that's really helpful for verification purposes. It's always really good if you're sending in a record um, to have a photo with it if you can, because that, um, particularly if you're not known to the recorder, um, helps them to, to know that you've correctly identified the species. And then all you need to do is click upload. Um, I'm not going to do that just now because uh, I don't actually want to send this record in at the moment. So if I don't want to do that, um, I can actually press on the back button here. Um, and that takes me back to the screen that we first came in on. And now we can see my record sitting there. It's pending. It hasn't been uploaded yet. Um, I'm going to upload that later um, when I've got connection. Um, so we can now carry on adding more records. I've come around to my pond uh, to have a look, see if I can see any uh, dragonflies or damselflies. I've had quite a few emerging recently. Um, I've had large red damselfly, broad body chaser and azure damselfly. I can't actually see any this morning. Um, but I just wanted to demonstrate what happens with some of these species um, when you enter, go to enter a record, you'll find the screen looks different on your iRecord app. So, Let's say I've seen um, a broad body chaser this morning and I want to add that record in. So we go down to the plus button here and as before we put in, uh, in this case it's going to be a broad body chaser so I start typing that, typing that in um, and as before you can see it starts to filter down. So now we've got broad body chaser. We press that there on the pencil and we've got the broad body chaser um, and we've got the location so let's put in uh, molecular again and it's today but as you can see um, now the screen looks slightly different there's some other options here um, and this is because the dragonfly society have actually um, asked for extra information for their records um, this is all um, optional down here. So the, the top bit is your species, your location and when, and that's your, those, those are your, your critical parts of a record. Um, the rest of it is optional, but as before, it's always worth filling in as much information as you can. So uh, I'm going to put in site type. This is a garden pond and I've seen uh, two to five adults and I saw um, similar number of exuvia. Exuvia are the, um, the cases, if you like, that are left behind when the 
dragonfly emerges as an adult um, so I've added in that extra information again you can add a photograph um, and again you can go for upload or you can um, go back to to save it the upload till later um, that you'd like to do a list of different things that you can find in your garden um, in one particular day or might decide you'd like to recall the flowers you see when you're going out for a walk um, and you can do that just by adding the individual records or you could do a survey so if you go down to the green button again but instead of just tapping it if you press and hold on it you get um, some of the options so if you had a moth trap you could put out your moth trap and then do a moth survey um, if you were doing that list of flowers on your walk plant survey is probably most relevant um, or if I'm doing a list of all the different things I can find in my garden you might want to do a general survey so let's click on the general survey um, and then it brings up um, your basic information so where are you when are you and who are you um, so again we'll just put in um, our location um, as before um, and the rest of it's filled in order already so then you can start adding your species so you go to add species and as before it comes up with a box and you can start typing your species in so I can hear a house sparrow so I'll put that in there we are house sparrow so now if you just want to add the record and not not put any additional information in um, if you just press on the house sparrow rather than the pencil that we pressed on before just press on house sparrow and that's gone into your survey um, I can also hear uh, a chaffinch singing so I'm going to put that in there we are chaffinch has come up I'll put that in uh, there's a wren and so on you need to carry on like that adding species if you want to go back um, and have a look at what you added if you press on the back button there and you can see those three species are there listed um, if I heard more than one house sparrow I could press on the number there um, and it actually adds um, up, that up now that's two house sparrow I've, hear, I've heard um, you could actually click on the the species if you decide you do want to add something so you could then in this case we've now got the option to add some extra information about um, breeding so i can hear that it's singing so you could choose that it's a singing male here and then again you can go back um, and that's um, then been added to your record and then if you want to add some more species simply just go to add species and you can carry on in the same way. I really hope you enjoyed that short tour of how to record with the iRecord app. I really like it personally because it's just so easy to use. Your phone knows where you are, you can add photos, you can send them in, they're there um, where they need to be um, really, really quickly. But there are many other ways of recording. Um, you can do it like my mum used to do with a notebook and then just send those records in separately. Um, the local record centre, um, this, that's um, the Biodiversity Information Service, they have loads of information about how you can get recording. Um, so don't let uh, technology stop you if, that, if you feel a bit overwhelmed with the iRecord app, but um, I can't recommend it highly enough if you really want to make a difference for um, helping us understand where wildlife is it's really really important um if we don't know where the wildlife is we can't um we can't save it we can't help it so um please do send in your records um it's a perfect opportunity while we're stuck in our local patches to really take a close look at what we've got um learn more about it and send in those records thanks so much for listening <laughs>